Trudy here from It's a True Story. And well, today, today you see I have a stunning supermodel with me. This is my friend Sharon from React. Victoria's Secret. That's right. She was just coming hot off the runway from Victoria's mm -hmm. Secret. I'm the off. hidden secret. I'm the real secret. <laughs> <laughs> that is the secret. And actually, we're here to talk about secrets. We are talking we're about secrets. We're here to talk about yes. secrets today. And the reason we're talking about secrets, Sharon and I, we're on uh, we're on FBE's React together, and we're friends outside, mm -hmm. and and so we've been talking about something for a while now um, that we we're ready to share with you guys. Yep, yep. And the thing that we're ready to share with you guys is well, a little background, a little double secret secrets is that it's a secret. We actually are doing some stuff in our real life. That's all about helping people like feel better and be happier, if you can believe that. Yeah. It's really important, I think, because you and I were just talking and we have both been kind of at our worst parts of our lives where we thought, how do we get out of it? And, and I know for myself, I never had, at the time I didn't have guidance on how to do that. It was like, pull yourself up from the bootstraps and get going. Yeah, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but now after going through all of this and everything, it's like I think we have a better grasp on at least what helped us. Yeah, yeah, I think it might be helpful. That it yeah, I, I mean, I've talked about this on my channel before. I had a really severe panic disorder in my 20s, like so severe. I there were days I just the rock bottom day was literally I was just laying in bed and I was like, Yeah, no reason to leave this thing. Yeah, and that was like in my 20s. Like that was like five years ago or something. I mean, I I've <laughs> I've hit rock bottom a couple different ways. I mean, I seriously, seriously contemplated suicide. So I started to write down things that I was grateful for. And first thing I started to write down, of course, was my kid. And I thought how selfish it was because at that very moment, I thought I don't even have anything to offer. Or provide him so how dare I write that down? and then it was like at that moment my dog came up and nozzled for a pet you know how they do and I thought okay I am so thankful for my dog and I do offer that something you know because look he came up and I gave the pets and feed it da, da, da. and so it was the mere fact that I was able to start with you know my dog that that uh, I think that's what really helped pull me out yeah. and, and, and go from there. Yeah, see, we're two funny ladies, and we have some really serious shit underneath. Yeah, man, you don't get this funny without some yeah. real shit. Yeah, that's what makes you hilarious, <laughs> is if you just know crippling anxiety and suicidal ideation, <laughs> and boom! Yeah. We're joking about it. It's not funny. It's not a laughing matter. And yet... Anxiety, I know, for example, is like the number one thing that affects people in the world. So this is why, so this is where Sharon and I started talking. So clearly we've done some things to turn things around. Right. I found meditation, and I am, I've talked about it here before. I'm studying to be a meditation teacher. And but some of the stuff that I've learned in there, combined with all my years of just like being a parent, being a person in the world and everything else, I feel like I have some really good insight about how to get past that crippling stuff. And I, Karen, I believe you're on the same. Well, I, you yeah. know, for me, I actually just started meditating. You did? I did. I'm doing like a little oh my uh, God. thing where like for three minutes every morning. I mean, that's all I got in Great. me and it's just teaching me. It's I'm, amazing. I'm, yeah, I, I, I like it. I've tried it several times before and I realized that it wasn't working for me because I was, I put it on as a checklist. Yeah. Well, I have I have ADD, and so I have to be very structured. Mm. So in the morning, I literally have a list of shit I got to get done in the morning. Oh. Um, and so I had meditation. I'm like, okay, check that off. And so it was just a task. Whereas now I'm doing it anyway. Okay, that's um, amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. For me, I know that when I'm feeling down or whatever, because I still get that way. I'm just coming out of a little bit of a down, and what I do is, yes, I found this uh, motivational playlist. And I, it's like three, That's amazing. four minutes. And they're like, is it cheesy? A little, a little cheesy. I mean, they're like, 
You can do it. Every morning. I'm putting a I link. You guys, I'm putting a link to that playlist. Do for it. For sure. And down there. And by the way, Sharon and I want your comments because we want to do yes. this more than more than once every 10,000 years. Maybe more than like once a month is an yeah. idea we have. So we want to yeah. know in the comments what you guys want us to talk to you about. Because right now we're just talking about the sides of us that you don't know and a theme about learning how to be happier. And yeah. that sounds a little trite in our day and age, but when it's delivered by two sassy badasses, it takes on and a new And we've been through the ringer. Hey, man. Well, we all, like you, so you found total meditation. Yeah. I don't feel like, I'll never say never, but I don't feel like that world is what would bring me to where I need to be. It'll be a part of, but these motivational things, yep. they'll like, you're a fucking badass. Um, you know, the whole thing, like the devil whispered, you can't handle the storm. And I answered back. I am the storm. Oh my God. That, that shit is boy, what gets that. me going. I'm going to write that down and I'm going to make it t like one of those fancy scripted tattoos. I'm going to put that whole thing. I around. am the storm, motherfucker. I am the storm, bitches. Yep. Mm -hmm. That, that type of stuff is what really gets my you know, builds that fire yeah. in my belly and gets out and going because we have to, I think what it is, is we have to figure out what builds our armor, right? Because going throughout the day, it's just going to be torn to shreds, shreds, just shredded throughout the day. Yeah. We were talking about this. We were talking about how this is something that's going to happen to our kids as they head off into their adulthood. And you know what? We're, this is exactly, the, this is the kind of pep talk we're both going to deliver. Don't yeah. you feel better now? Yeah. <laughs> so you get it from me. You'll be shredded. You will. Yeah. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't think of any time in my adult life where at some point I didn't get shredded. Totally. Whether it was uh, the death of a friend. Yep. Uh, or a relative, mm -hmm. or losing a job, or I mean, just there are things where you literally go, I, I, I don't know what to do. Yeah. And you think you've lost everything. Yep. You, you, there have been times where I think I've literally lost everything. Yeah. I, I thought I lost my family. I was like, that's it. Mm -hmm. Not but you don't. I also can say that during those times where I felt the worst and the most shredded, now where I'm at in this place right now, I look back and I go, I'm actually glad that happened. Yes. That's right. Because I wouldn't be where I am in here. I am so grateful that I had a panic disorder when I was in my early 20s. I can't begin to tell you. Because I would never have known how to deal with with life circumstances and I had to at an early age get into therapy learn you know learn how to realize that everything out there I have no control over it's right road nothing no right. control it's all internal that's the one thing I do have control over and then once you kind of get that that kind of unlocks the key to a lot of things that might be sound scary but I don't think so like to me and that's where meditation goes it's an inward kind of thing that you know gives you access to be able to let go of all that other stuff, comparing yourself, that, you know, compare and despair thing. Get rid yeah. of all that stuff. And then, then you're kind of left with like, well, how can I just kick ass? That's, it was been my experience. You know, the thing is, is so I've stopped telling Hunter, telling him that. That's we're, her son. Yeah, Hunter's my son. Well, and Laura's. Yeah. Um, probably more Laura's because she has Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, we stopped saying, I'm proud of you. Really? We stopped saying it. And we've replaced it with, you must be so proud of yourself. I love that. Because we don't want him to live his life thinking he has to make us proud. That's brilliant. Because it's his life. That's right. He has to make himself proud. Love that. So. And that's the inner, that's the inner strength we're talking about. Yeah. That's the thing we're talking about. And that's also, Sharon is going to be doing a motivational speech. Speech? Well, my friend, a fantastic speech. My friend is she runs several nonprofits, Amazing. and she does a woman's retreat a couple times a year, and all the money goes to run one of her nonprofits. And it's called "I Am More Than What You See," 
S E A. And it's in Santa Cruz. Love that. Uh, maybe you can put the dates on there or something. Yeah, or something all the info is going to be down in the in the comments. That's amazing. So a keynote speaker in like a TED Talk type type thing, and uh, I'm going to be talking about like you know getting rid of the I'm too whatever. Yeah. I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too dumb, I'm too whatever. Yeah. See, that is, that's totally connected to the whole thing that I'm learning about, the whole that made it meditation practice, which is all that. Yeah. Like, all that stuff that your head tells you, like, the only one who's really telling you that is your head, so you can learn yeah. ways, you know, there are what ways I to heard, not listen to that anymore. I heard in one of my motivational talks that I listen to now, it said... The only people that tell you you're too old, young, whatever, mm -hmm. are they tell you that because they can't picture themselves doing that. Interesting. That's right. it. That's why they feed it. Right. They don't have enough confidence in their self, themselves to be able to do what you want to do. And so they, they, they tell you a reason that you can't do it. You guys, whenever I read comments over on the React channel about Sharon, it says lots of great things, but it always says that I read this one over and over. Sharon is mood. So <laughs> I have to say, if that's the mood, like that's the mood to take into every single day. <laughs> and it really is. It's like, you know, I'm rubber your glue. Like you want to put that out there? World, you want to make me feel like I'm less than or I'm, I'm I, I, you know, I have whatever, some deficiencies. That's not, that's not real. And that's not what you come from. You. No, no. Lots of better things coming from yeah. You should be proud of yourself. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, yeah. That's the biggest thing. If you can lay your head down at night and, and say, am I proud of myself? And, and we're not stupid. We are not. We know <laughs> that you're going through shit. People go through shit that we have no idea what it's like not to be going idea. through it. Yeah. But, but I think every, everything is the same in that if you're going through it, got to find out how to way to say I'm the storm right and you know what that's your choice yeah and that's the point that we're here to remind you about too it's like on the path to having a happier existence you do have a choice you actually do now this is not to sound trite make anything trite or lighthearted and also below I will put a link to the crisis text line it's a place I was a volunteer crisis counselor at for a year and then I still support it's 741 741 if you're in crisis and you can't use our pithy helpful hints yeah um that's where you can get real help by text and it's anonymous so that's the side note so but we think you guys can handle a lot more than this but we're gonna yeah. cut it off right now because yeah. we've had an amazing conversation so good and you know what we want to hear from you guys so in the comments please tell us what you think, what's going on in your life, what you'd love to hear from Sharon and me when we get together and have a little yeah. moment together, a little happiness fiesta. Yeah, man. I don't know if that's what we're calling it. Please like, please subscribe. I'm here every first and third Thursday of the month. It's a commitment I've made because you know what? It makes me happy. So anyways, I want to thank Sharon. It makes me really fucking happy. My pleasure. This I one. love to be in here. Come on. All it's right. Good time. Good time. All right, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.